Welcome to Sri Netrale. As we all know, LASIK is one of the best procedures to correct the refractive error. Still, there are some manageable complications which can occur during LASIK procedure. In this particular video, I am showing two cases with flap complications. In first case, LASIK was done with 130 micron blade with Moria microkeratom two days back and, and patient complaint of glare, decreased vision and photophobia following LASIK. On evaluation, a flap stri were noted and his vision was 636. We did a topography for this patient which confirmed the macro stri on a flap and similar findings were noted on slit lamp examination. We took the patient inside OT and lifted the flap. As you can see, the epithelium is fully healed. The flap is raised with three pass technique to avoid undue pressure on the hinge. Notice the macro stri on a flap. This case can be simply managed by lifting the flap and placing the flap again and ironing it but in this particular case what I noticed even after repositioning the flap and ironing it the stri was still there and major stri still visible in pupillary axis. So it was better to go ahead with sutures which will remove the stri and these sutures can be removed after a week time. Placement of sutures is crucial and depend on the amount of stri and the direction in which stri are present. You need to apply the sutures in such a way that stri disappear and have a nice regular wrinkle free flap. In this particular case I have used 10 0 nylon sutures. You have to be careful while tying these knots. The suture must be tight enough to make flap wrinkle free. To cause pressure or pulling on a flap. The knots of these sutures should be buried away from the flap. Once the flap is well secured, Place a bandage contact lens for next 24 to 48 hours and observe the patient. Atomycin C can be used if there is chances for epithelial ingrowth. In second case we have got a folded flap. The LASIK was done 24 hours prior with Moria microkeratome and 130 micron blade was used. On post of day one patient complaint of foreign body sensation, glare, decreased vision and photophobia. Notice the flap edema. His uncorrected vision was dramatically low. When I saw this patient on a slit lamp, noticed a folded flap on itself and area of epithelial healing was seen on a bare stroma.
Here the more important issue was epithelial which has healed on a bare stroma. We gently peeled off the epithelium which was present on the residual bed without leaving behind the bags of epithelial cells which may promote epithelial ingrowth in future. On repositioning the flap, major stria was noticed in the pupillary axis. Newly healed epithelium was loose and can be easily peeled off with the help of iris retractor. It is good practice to use mitomycin C on residual bed in these type of cases where epithelium has grown on bare stroma. If we just reposition the flap and apply BCL, the chances for future epithelial ingrowth is more. So I decided to go with sutures which will keep flap tight and prevent the chances for further complications. While applying these sutures, take care that your length of your suture is more and is not causing any undue pressure or pulling on a flap. Again, the suture knot should be buried away from the flap. You must apply the sutures in such a way to neutralize the stry on flap and have regular wrinkle free flap on table. We were able to manage these both cases quite well and even after these complications these patients are doing good. Both these cases are having good vision without any photophobia or any other visual complaints.
Thank you for watching.